Hi everyone, so let's draw Sung Jin Woo today and the reference is already on the top and I'm gonna use a compass to draw a little circle in the center of the paper. Then you need to draw a center line splitting the circle into two equal parts. Afterwards, draw two more same identical lines at the equal distances. All of these three are gonna help us draw different facial features. The reference picture may seem difficult to you but I promise that I'm gonna explain it through an easy method. So for the better understanding of everything, make sure to stay till the end with me. After we drew the three horizontal lines splitting the circle into four equal parts now we need to draw a center line which is vertical and it's gonna be right in the center and now to avoid confusion while drawing eyes we can always split the lines into further equal paths and keep drawing the structure according to the reference now these two lines are actually to mark the location and direction of eyebrows so that both of them looks equal and we won't mess up later and guys thank you for 5k subscribers we just achieved this milestone i guess so one day ago and i wanted to tell you and thank you all so much for that and i promise that i won't stop making these easy tutorials for you and you promise me that you won't stop watching my videos one more thing real quick if you are on my channel for the first time then don't forget to check my other tutorials if you liked this one and i would love to hear your opinion about my tutorials you can always tell me the ups and downs of my channel you can also subscribe to my channel as a sport or if you want more tutorials so yeah thank you again and now if you keep following the tutorial as it is i'm sure that you will be able to draw this picture of him and if you are going to draw this one you can send me the pictures on instagram I will make sure to give my opinion about them. You can get a link to my Instagram from the description of my channel or the handle from the description of this video. And unfortunately today I won't be able to explain everything in depth because it was the first day of my college and I got less time to do voice recording. Still I'm running out of time. Wish me luck sweeties. I'm cooked right now. If you are still here watching this tutorial of mine and thinking that it's gonna be easy or it is easy then I would recommend you to like the video right now and subscribe to my channel. It will absolutely be appreciated and I hope you are understanding everything well.
now it's finally time to draw the hand so i'm gonna draw the structure as in the reference and you're just gonna follow the tutorial if you are drawing along with me i still hope that it's looking easy to you now it's finally time to draw the arms and shoulders so you know the first thing we always draw the structure so go ahead
And now before drawing the arms, I thought that I should draw the hairs first so that it won't be confusing anymore. And now as you can see that for drawing hair, I'm drawing a circle like that with compass and it's passing from right between the eyes. So now let's draw the hair. After drawing the hair, now I guess it's time to draw the hoodie including the arms. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is painful, all is said and done. We have to draw the same structure for arm on the other side but a bit updated according to the replacement. Burning the bridge that keeps us I'm here and I'm feeling fearless Exaggerated, that's what you assume The story's over now, I must conclude I am conflicted watching where I step still Yeah. 
finally done with the arm and the shoulder now it's time to draw the hand and of course we're gonna start with the structure off my list what's left to do just guess it's you my favorite but i want to taste you and feel your shake raising an earthquake our rough sketch is finally complete and now it's time to remove the unnecessary structural lines and with that let's not forget to draw the bandages on this right hand Breaks 
For the line art, I'm gonna use this 4B pencil grade. It's an average dark pencil, not much dark, not much light, okay? You can use any pencil you have. For the shading, I'm using the same one but with a bit less pressure. Let's shade in the hair the darkest and then we'll be going for the other things too. Now I'm using a B grade for the shading in face because of course it's supposed to be lighter but you can use the same pencil with the less pressure. It will do that I guess. And as now our shading is finally complete, let's use this cotton earbud for the blending. You can always leave the sketches without blending if the shading is enough good. Do your signature in the end and our video is finally complete. Let's meet you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!